forward. Yeah, everyone asks about that. It tends to be a point of contention. Never thought a forward would cost so much hassle, if I'm honest. I always get into myself to juggle I am. That, um, that event, I suppose, their story just made an imprint on me, really. Oh, oh no, well, I'm not getting any ideas, and I don't be getting the wrong impression, God, but the shock of it. Wow, I, I was literally in the middle of writing a different forward, and, and the news of... Yeah, uh, it just came on, and in equal parts, I thought, wow, that is two people there who really took life into their own hands, and holy shit, life doesn't really have very many limitations. No, 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 I know it was bad, but still. The pure determination harrowed me, the purpose. It's probably more purposeful than anything I'll ever do, any decision I'll ever make, so I decided that the most purposeful thing in my life needed that. Was a dedication. No, I didn't know them. Definitely. Hi. Where am I? Uh, who are you? Oh, I'm, I'm Dara. Nice to meet you. Dara... Dara what? Oh, well, that's all you get. Right, I see who it is. No, I don't remember my name, I just chose Dara. Well, bullshit, surely. Well, what's your name then? I... Uh... Aya? No, I... Shit, I don't... I can't remember. Mm -hmm. it, check your clothes or your shoes or something. Sometimes there's a label. Sure, look, there's loads around you. But I... I shouldn't need a label. I should just remember my own name, right? Right? Who cares? Pick a new one. It's not twice you get to start over from scratch. Okay, um, there's fucking nothing. Okay, no, wait, there's a designer, uh, Jamie Wright? Well then, Jamie Wright? No. Just Jamie? Why can't I remember my name? Maybe you never had one. Bullshit. Well, I'm gonna call you Jamie. I hope that's okay. What did you mean, start from scratch? Oh, uh, you don't... Okay, well, you're uh, dead. You're uh, long gone. I'm guessing. It's, you're here. I'm what? It's okay. So am I. You're wrong. No. You are. You're right here. I can touch you. See? No. Don't. Sorry. No, it's not like... You can't touch me. You can't touch anything that's not yours. I'm, I'm not really here. How do you know all this? Been here a long time. Trial and error. I am just guessing, it's just a little uncomfortable, so I wouldn't suggest that you try. And where is here, exactly? I really don't know. Great, thanks. You're really helpful. Um, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go then. It's gonna be a little weird here. I mean, if you're new. Okay. You won't remember, you know, your life or anything before. Just know that that's all right. Hardly. How do you remember your name? I don't. Uh, that's, uh, that's all. Right. That's interesting. Fuck, you scared me. What is it? It's you. 
I don't see it. No, for real, look. Where? It looks like shit smeared on grass. Here, you've been practicing the whole time we've been here, and this is your best. Mark, go back to your book. I didn't say I was good at this. That's what I look like to you? It's not what you look like. It's... It's how I experience you. It doesn't make it any better. I'm serious. Like shit smeared on grass. No, like... You make me feel connected to something. Bigger than me. Like my life. I don't know. I know I had one. Oh. You don't like it? The, the painting? No, the... Never mind. I'm not sure it's good that I remind you of before. Are we not allowed to remember things? Do you remember things? No, I just... I don't think we should be scared to remember. Like, it could be nice to... I'm not scared, Jamie. I'm just fine now. I'm satisfied with what I have here. And this will never leave me. I, I have me as myself right here like this forever. And I don't need to go back. Well, what if I do? Suit yourself. I guess I'll have to get better. Dara. For fuck's sake. Oh, hey. Why are you following me? I'm not. Well, I just walked away from you over there, so... Well, how do you know I wasn't over here the whole time? For real. I'm genuinely asking. Just tell me why you're following me and we can let this go. Listen, I don't even remember your name. Why would I follow you? Not if I don't believe you. Well, then you can sit there and not believe me for as long as you want in silence. I'm thinking. You don't remember my name? Jamie Wright? Ah, so you're lying. No, I just want you to stop looking at me. Well, that makes two of us. Do you want something? What? Well, you want to go away and I want you to go away, but you're still here. So is there something else that you want? Well... I, I'm over this. Okay. I was thinking about that book you have there. Oh? Yeah, why'd you have it? Oh, I don't know. I like it, though. Why don't I get a book? I don't think we all get given books on our way in. I just like it. I must have uh, read it or something before. I think it impacted me somehow. I keep reading it in the hopes that I'll figure out what that is. Hmm. Weird. It's funny the sort of things that make an impact on us. I wonder if it's different now. Because we're different, right? Like, really different. Maybe that book is your Bible. <laughs> Maybe you lived your whole life by your book. That'd be sort of cool. I think living your life by a book would be sort of comforting. A lot less personal baggage. Isn't that the whole premise of religion? Dara. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, baggage. Where are you planning on going? Wait. You okay? What? I said, are you okay? We had a deal. I know, but you seem out of it. I would need to be somewhere, anywhere, to be out of it. Sorry? You said luggage. Where are you going? I said baggage. As in, like, emotional baggage. Ah. You're not even reading. What are you thinking about? I am reading. Prove it. It called out to me. I couldn't help but feel that it was something important. Like something that clouds your vision and makes white noise and demands attention. How can the whole world think that if you bury yourself in the ground, you'll end up in Australia? Where did that come from? Is that a flat earth conspiracy book? It's not a conspiracy. Oh my god, I cannot believe you gave me shit for being bad at painting and you've been sitting here reading a flat earth conspiracy book this whole time. 
Can we just sit in silence, I please? am revoking your, I've been here longer than you have, trump card. Consider it gone. <laughs> Fucking flatter. It's just a story. What? It's not like any of it's real anymore. What are you saying? Like, consequence. What is that? If you can just die and avoid all consequences, then... Then... I mean, you could have killed someone. Sarah. Well, it wouldn't matter, would it? None of it's real. What are you thinking about? I don't think I'm thinking about anything. You're back again? God damn it. I don't remember anyone with a hello half as angry as yours. There's still nothing interest you? No. Just gonna have to get used to spending an awful lot of time together by the looks of things. Joys. Oh, am I disturbing you? Is that not obvious? I'm not sure you mind. Well then. Are you in a huff? A what? A huff? It's a place where immature people go to when they're pissed off but don't want to talk. Hmm, right. Or maybe you were thinking of me. What? If you're thinking of someone here, you tend to find them. Or so I've heard. I wouldn't know, I haven't been doing too much thinking. Well, neither have I. Right so. I wasn't thinking of you. Don't worry your head about it. I actually wasn't. <laughs> okay. Maybe you were thinking of me. Maybe. What have you got there? A uh, book. Oh. Yeah, you know, like words on a page, people's opinions and stuff. Mm, not your words. No, not my words. Not our world either. Hmm. What are they saying? Uh, just normal stuff. Do you think I get it? Uh, I mean, sure. Uh, can you read it from there? Nope, you can't touch it. I'm not gonna rip it, come on. You're not able to touch it. Fine. Keep your epiphanies to yourself. Moody shit. I told you we can't, like, interact with each other. At all. This is my book, so you're not able to hold it. Okay, well... I'm gonna get my own book, then. Okay. See you soon, probably. You won't be able to touch it. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be really good. Well, then you can read it out loud. Fucker. I was thinking about what she said earlier. About being reborn. Reincarnation? Yeah, and how you get to choose what you come back as. Well, energy is just recycled, so you have to come back as something, I suppose. I wonder if we chose to be here. I doubt it. But I thought you had to choose to be reborn or it didn't happen. Well, it says here that everything is a choice, and these choices make up paths, and a new path is created every time you make a choice. And when we're indifferent, we just walk on paths already chosen by others, so they're worn down and soggy. So, long story short, I'm sure we have to choose, but I kind of hate this place, so let me have my moment. Everything's a choice. People place meaning on things that are unexplainable to make themselves feel less small. So if you think being here is destiny, then that's fine. Apparently it's normal. Destiny, that reminds me of something. What are you whispering about? Don't let this get to your head. Spiritual. It reminds me of that word. What? Why? To be full of life. Oh, I hate that. I know. <laughs> but what you're talking about, I think it's a spiritual thing, not a metaphysical thing. I think you just mean physical. It's an interesting word. It's heavy. Heavy? How can a word be heavy? Is your tongue broken? <laughs> no, I just mean... It feels like it should mean something. Like more. Oh. Well, a meaning is just a meaning. 
Do you not worry about it? Spiritual? Being reborn. Has that not already happened? I'm here. I'm chatting with my new friend. I'm able to read. I think that's pretty cool. But we're purposeless. Reading is a purpose. But when you're alive, there's, there's a goal. There's always something ahead of you. There's the next chapter ahead of me now. Farah. And then the one after that. And then probably a conversation with you. And then more reading. But there's no higher purpose, is what I mean. What? Life and death? That's gone. There's no room for existential dread. This is all made up. We don't exist. I exist. I do. Okay. You know, sometimes I think we've met before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't. Why are you laughing? I think you're cute. Oh. Is a tough guy front for everyone, or do I just get special treatment? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Come on. Well, I don't. That's not funny. Buzzkill? I don't see anyone else. So how would I know how I'd act around them? Well, good luck to them if you do see anyone else around here, Jesus. What's that supposed to mean? No, whatever. Hey! Well, am I wrong? Anyways... As I was saying... I think I do know you. From before. We're not supposed to remember anything from before. You're like a broken record, Jesus, I get it. I'm trying to keep you safe. Oh, my thank you. My knight in shining armor. Don't try and remember. There's a reason why we forget there must be. Why, do you remember something? No. I don't believe you? I don't. Okay, and what if I still don't? I'm telling the truth. You're not. What the hell? I am. No, because if you were, then you wouldn't care if I believed you or not. So... What is it? I don't remember. I think you promise. This is dumb. This is a dumb fight you're fighting right now. Come on. Fine. Fine, I think you promise. I knew it. Shit. You said we weren't able to touch each other. I did. And you were wrong. <laughs> Yeah. Well, this changes everything. Give me your, give me your book. No. Dara, just give me your book. What the hell? No, I don't want you to... What the... I don't... It worked a second ago. You can only touch what's your own. Was it a mistake? I th what's yours? What? We can only touch what's yours. Oh. It's it's probably nothing. I don't know. Maybe there was a glitch. Well, have you ever tried to touch someone else before? No. A glitch then. Must be. You think I'm cute? Keep dreaming. Let's play Never Have I Ever. Jamie. What? It'll be fun. Don't tell me the 12th reread of your Flat Earth Conspiracy book is more interesting than a game. The 12th reread of my Flat Earth Conspiracy book is more interesting than a game. Dara. Darling, to play Never Have I Ever, you need to be able to remember the things that you did in order for this game to be any fun. No, I don't. You just make it up. That's too much work. Put your book down. I don't want to play. I will march into that space of yours. Please don't. Come on. It'll be fun. Think you promise? Absolutely not.
Okay, I'll start easy. Never have I ever lied to someone I care about. We don't have anything to drink. Fine, put a finger down. Fine. Okay. Put a finger down if you've ever kissed someone that you think... Wait, how do you play this way? Come on. Jamie, we're adults. I've definitely kissed my fair share of not so lovely people. Who? I don't know. Doesn't matter. You do know. But it doesn't matter. Do I know them? You don't know me. Anyways, it's my turn. Put a finger down if you'd ever fuck around with handcuffs. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah? Mm, and the, what's it called, the thing you sit in? A harness? Oh, sounds like you're an expert. Shut up. No. Okay. Never have I ever, sorry, put a finger down if you've had sex here. Here isn't dead. Here isn't dead. But we ha haven't seen anyone else, and besides... You could be lying. Besides, I can't, we can't touch anyone. You could touch me. I... What? Able to. You're able to touch me. Fucking hell. That's a fluke. Whatever, the answer's no. I have one. Put a finger down if you've ever had feelings for the person across from you. What? You heard me. We're dead and I don't know you. There's your answer then. This is fun. I don't want to play anymore. I'm sorry. No, you're right. It's just what are we to remember? I didn't mean to. It's done. Leave it. It's just you said you might remember me from before and I thought, well... Yeah, I said I thought I remembered you, not that I'm in love with you. Right. My bad. Do you like me then? What? No, I... I don't remember. I don't know you. I was just messing around. I'm sorry. Just forget about it. Before you said, you can only touch what's yours. It doesn't matter. Were we together? What? You heard me. I promise, I don't remember you. We could touch each other. We've been through this. I could kiss you. Why wouldn't you drop this? I'm not going to, I, if you don't want to. I'm just saying. Good. Thanks. I'll keep it in mind. I'm hungry. No. Nope. No. No, it's silent time now. I'm going to read. No talking. What is it? You've been staring at me like that for far too long. If you don't start blinking, your eyeballs are gonna fall out. Dara. Uh-huh? I think I've done something. Okay, what do you mean? I'm not sure. Well, you're gonna have to give me more than that. It was just a hand. It was a limp hand and the sound of nothing. Not even breathing. I don't understand. I think she's dead. Who's dead? She's fucking dead. Oh my god, she's not moving. We're all dead here, Jamie. Come on, what's going on? Fuck, I can't do this. Fuck. What? I'm getting whiplash here. Where are we going with this? Jesus Christ. I think I killed someone. Um, I think she was my mother. I don't know why I think she's my mother. I, I don't know how I know that, but she was old. 
and frail and far too vulnerable. She made it feel like I could play God. Jamie, are you... Like if I played Barbara Streisand's memory enough times that she would just forget she existed. You hated that song. She waltz around her living room in those ugly kitten heels and knock over the photo of your dad. Every time. She couldn't dance. Just thought waltzing was romantic. Or maybe she thought she was dancing with him, I'm not sure. Neither am I. Jamie? Tell me what you know. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You do. I think you should leave this. And that you have the upper hand here, not a fucking chance. Jamie. I want to know what you know. It doesn't even matter, it's over. And look where I ended up. Why are you yelling at me? Because you don't seem a bit surprised. What the fuck do you know, Dara? Stop that. I won't fucking stop that. I feel like you know something, and if it involves me, which I highly suspect that it does, then you should just tell me. Right now. Fine. Fine, I figured it out. Fucking sue me. What did you figure out? When? As soon as you started painting her. Who am I painting? You don't even know. Clearly there's a lot I don't know. You're painting her. Your mother. My mother? She doesn't look a bit like me. Why do you know what she looks like? Why do you get to know and I can't? Did you make some sort of deal? What, with the devil? Dara, please. I'm not sure I should tell you. Right. We killed her. We're both there, in my mind. I don't know if it's a vision or what, but you're there. I don't know how I know it's you, because... You don't look like this, but they've got your personality all over them. If it's a memory, we're already far too intertwined for you to not tell me. Who are you? What you're seeing is a, a vision. It's a memory. And I know that because I've had the same one. We're sitting in your mother's cottage and the fire is too hot and the radio is too loud and there's fucking nothing to do just field and stone walls around your cottage and we've already walked all of the paths we're tired and we're bored and we're sick of having to visit her every other day to make sure she hasn't fallen or eaten something she's allergic to or choked on her own tongue. Our lives have moved on so much and it's fucking irritating. But we did it. I didn't know why someone else would have cared for her if we hadn't. She's supposed to have carers but she hates them all and fires them when we're not around. And sometimes she'll remember our names, but she'll always know memory. And she plays it on repeat. So much so that we've had to buy her several records over the years because she keeps wearing them through. She's demanding and cruel and in ways that she would never show she loves you and if it wasn't for that I don't know if we would have bothered trying for so long keep going she yells at you um, because she thinks you're an intruder I remember specifically fixating on the words I've got nothing to shake you so get going or I'll call the guardy I think she'll come around. She usually does, but she screams and 
screams and she won't let you sit down inside the house so you run out to the porch and sit on the front step and I go out after you and you look at me with what I expect to be these big tired eyes but I look at you and there's just nothing you've tapped out completely You consider leaving and not coming back, but that didn't seem like enough for it all. For the countless number of years where you raised yourself and the ones where you raised her. So we just sit for hours. We sit there in silence while she screams herself to sleep. And then when she's quiet, you get up and and you. Why'd you stop? Jamie, I don't like this. Finish what you were saying. I don't want to. I don't care. Please. Fine. Then I will. What? You did well, darling. I just needed to know what you know. What are you saying? It was getting boring, really. Being stuck here and not being able to talk about it. I get up. And I go over to where she's sitting. God, the room just smells of old age. It's disgusting. You're scaring me. It's my turn to speak. You were right about the anger, you know. She drained me. Constantly and forever, and I was done. When I picked her up, she was so light. I remember thinking it was funny how so much personality could fit into this bundle of bones. She asked where she was going, and I said, for a bath. Because <laughs> it didn't fucking matter at that stage. She hit the sink with a sort of knock. So much bone. <laughs> I remember she said, that's gotten a bit small. Real small, I said. I moved away to the cooker and she called out to me. It was so weak. The squeak really, it was barely even a noise. It's pitiful actually. It was a pitiful noise for a pitiful mother. I said I was going to get soap. I didn't. Okay. Is it okay, really? I, I know what happens next, you don't need to tell me. I looked back in the window, you know, on our way out just to check, because I thought I heard her call out to me again. The gas made everything so blurry, I couldn't be sure. God, she was in there for how long? 45 minutes. That's, um, that's what the coroner's report said. She was dead at 10 minutes. Still shocking to you the second time around. God, you really were the weak one between us. It's ironic. Just didn't you? Stop. Please stop. Okay. I loved you. So much. I still do. That decision. When you love someone, all of it kind of creeps up on you until there's so much in front of you. But you've gotten so used to carrying each bit as it goes on that it, it doesn't even matter that it's so unbearably heavy. And I forgot all of that. All of it. And I forgot you. And then you arrived here and it was like all that weight, all that love, 
his back and it nearly crushed me. Why aren't you saying anything? Did you love me? Yes. So much. Did you really? I don't understand. Yes. What happens next? I don't know. Typical. There's more? Is there more? No. There's not. You said you knew when you were painting her. Why did you lie to get it out of me? Stop lying. I hate it when you lie to me. Fuck, I've not missed it. It was the painting. I knew when I was painting her. The first one, so, you know, however long ago that was. You're just so fucking pedantic. Why bother? I guess I love you. Sorry, I just didn't see the point in saying it because it brings all this shit up with it. I'm the point. I thought I was gonna have to stick it out however long here. Possibly an eternity carrying all of these feelings for you, all of this shit, all of the hundreds, thousands of hours I've spent with you here alone. Sarah. No. No, do you know what? I, I need to be alone. There's nowhere to go. No, there's not. But you've had your moment. The glory and the attention. I'm tapping out. You're tapping out? Yeah. I'm, I'm zoning out. Do you know how to do that? Or does your tapping out always have to end up in a dead body? You are such a hypocrite. Fucking how? Go on, tell me how. Fine. Go, I'll be here when you've calmed down. Obviously. Thank you for having me. Oh, I will, of course. Yeah. Um, my name is Dara Murphy and I'm an author of two, well, now three, uh, successful guides to understanding the reality of our flat earth. Um, for this latest one, I actually geared it towards beginners or, or whatever, what I would call the tough crowd. Those folks who think what I do is fake news or whatever we say these days. Uh. Oh, wow. Yeah. I suppose I started getting interested in well, what what I would have called conspiracy then, because I'd reached a point in my life, um, 35, recently unemployed, sort of looking for a new sense of meaning, since the one I was force-fed growing up had fallen through in every way. Uh, I was single, unemployed, back living at my parents' house, and I just thought to myself, is this what it's all about? Is it really? And looked for an out. I was looking for someone to pick me up off the ground in reality, and I by chance stumbled across the Flat Earthers Facebook page, and I guess I never really looked back. Oh, well, they challenged everything, see? They took one of the biggest things I had heard of, but didn't care about, something I didn't think made an impact on my daily life, and inspected it. That's it. They literally just said, why do you believe that the Earth is round? And the only answer I had was because it is. And they told me that that wasn't good enough. And so to prove them that it was, I found more reasons to doubt myself. The forward. Yeah, everyone asks about that. It tends to be a point of contention. Never thought a forward would cause me so much hassle if I'm honest. I always get myself into trouble I am. Uh, that, um... That event, I suppose, their story, just made an imprint on me, really. Oh, <laughs> well, no, not getting any ideas now. Don't be getting the wrong impression, God. But the shock of it, wow. I was literally in the middle of writing a different forward in the news of the... Yeah, 
just came on and in equal parts I thought wow that is two people there who really took life into their own hands and holy shit life doesn't really have very many limitations no 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 I know it was bad but still the pure determination harrowed me the purpose it's probably more purposeful than anything I'll do any decision I'll make so I decided that the most purposeful thing in my life needed that with dedication I know, it was, yeah, not good. They ended up very lonely. I'm sure I couldn't deal with being single at 35. I couldn't have dealt with being separated forever like they were. The child of the dead mother? Nisha Fitzgibbon was their name. They outlived their spouse for about 20 years. Have you heard about this? Can I? Do you mind? It's, it's just, I, I just think about it some, yeah? Oh, okay. So... Nisha was charged with first-degree murder, right? And their spouse, Alex, died never knowing. They ended their life before Nisha got out and never knew. They never fucking knew. They planned to kill their mother all along. And, and there were reports that said maybe they'd planned to... Um, God, yes, sorry. Absolutely. I got carried away. Apologies. Um. Um. Um, yeah, so the, um, the book, yeah, um. Can you please pre-order The Beginner's Guide to Our Flat Earth? It comes out on the 